his body language. Thank you. She decides to intercept the passenger to ask him a few questions. Hello, sir. Have you got your passport on you, please? That's great. Have you got your ticket as well? Any ticket? And where do you live, sir? In Holland. So how long are you here for? How long are you here in England for? No, today I'm going to Holland. Right, so you've been to Porta Plata. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. And from here you're going back to Holland, are you? Yeah. Where, when? When are you going back to Holland? Yeah. Is it a flight from here or a flight from Heathrow? From here. All right, have you got the ticket for that? Controlled drugs, weapons, explosives, etc. into the country, yeah? And these are your bags, are they? Sometimes we have a problem with people bringing drugs through on their bodies. Okay, so therefore we want, just want to give you a rub down of your body. Okay, but we won't do it here. We'll do it out the back. Okay. As the man's led away, there's a feeling his story just doesn't add up. He only works in a factory in Holland, so it's obviously not really well paid. Um, he's picked to go to Porta Plata, which is an unusual place for someone to go. He's gone on his own and um, he's booked it all last minute. He's got all the extras you can possibly have. So it makes his holiday very expensive just for seven nights to, and to go on his own. It's, it's just bizarre, that's all. Like this, that way. Yeah? Yeah. Go, go up onto the top, onto the travel, travelator. If you can breathe in as well, that'll help us. You ready breathing? As he holds his breath, the man's fate hangs in the balance. His day is about to get a lot worse. He's stuffed with packages of drugs. OK, sir. From what we can see on the x-ray, looks like you have packages inside you. Time is 08.53 hours. I'm arresting you on suspicion of being involved in the importation of a controlled drug. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention one question, something that you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand that? OK, sir. He's concentrate on getting those packages out um, because he doesn't realise, you know, if, if one of those burst or leaked, it could cost him his life. And for his own safety, is told to get the packages out of his system as quickly as possible. Basically, when people have an internal concealment... The man indicates he needs to go to the toilet. But this is no ordinary toilet trip. And this is no ordinary loo. So he's gone into the special toilet facility where if he starts producing packages, um, they then have to be cleaned up by the officer who's gone in with him. And um, then they will be bagged up as well. So just waiting for him to come out to see if he has actually produced any. Yeah, yeah. The gentleman said he needed the toilet. And while I haven't counted them at the moment, Looks like he's produced around 20 packages and he's told the custody officer he's got 60 something. So, obviously, the quicker they're, they're out of his system, the best chance he's got of survival. Basically. The process of washing the packages is a very dirty job, but someone's got to do it. If one of the packages were to split, basically, he ends up in, with death within minutes.